one of the common things this season for KSU baseball has unfortunately been falling on a couple of walk-off wins this year. But today, two go in the Thoroughbreds' favor against Albany State University. First game walk-off, three to two. Second game walk-off, five to four. And Coach Rob Henry, that the way your team's been able to take that and turn it around and really use it in your guys' favor, I imagine is a good sign for you guys heading into the tournament in just a week. Right, it is, and it's good to see us handle adversity. You know, we got down both times in the seventh inning. We had a lead. I mean, Josh Dunn had a no hitter point in the seventh inning of game one. We turn around, we have a couple mistakes, give up two runs, fall behind, and we come back and win. Uh, score a run in the seventh, and then you know, score another run in the ninth inning to win it. So, you know, it just says a lot to our team's ability to overcome some adversity. Same thing in the last inning of game two. Uh, you know, Joe Chris gave us a great start again. Uh, Matthew Ox Oxford came in, through well, gave up a run, unlucky run, and we came back, and Greg Alexander comes through with a big hit for us to win. So, it's good to see guys handle adversity and still come out on top. Now, the key thing with this adversity, it goes, it goes just one of the top teams in the conference, right. the team leading the East Division of the conference in all of these states. What does that say that you're able to get those two wins against such a tough opponent? Well, that means we earned it. You know, Coach Jennings does a great job with his ball club. He's got some really good talent. He's got a really nice left side of the infield. He's good behind the plate. Had a couple of good arms that came out of today. And it was good college baseball. And the fact that we came out on top of both games, you know, something to be said for our approach and, and the way that we work with our guys as well to come through on top against a really good, well coached ball club. Big wins today, Coach. Congratulations. Thanks, appreciate it. Thank you. Coach Rob Henry. And now we're going to be joined by today's starting pitcher of the first game, Josh Dunn. How you doing? Josh, as coach mission, you were on key today. The first six innings, no hitter going for you. In the seventh, you lost it, but you still sold everything down. What a start for you. What was it about today that just made you on? Uh, I think I had good control of the zone, which allowed my defense to make plays. I put the ball where I wanted. They made plays for me. I've been harping that all year long, you know. So just them having my back allows me to get in my comfort zone up there and throw pitches more aggressively in zones I want to. Now, it, it seems very fitting that you have such a, a tremendous start against a tough conference opponent in your last home game here at KSU. What did that mean for you? Uh, it was big. I thought about it last night a lot, and uh, I just I just wanted to make sure we went out on a good on a good note, and we did. Walk off win, couldn't be happier. Well, tomorrow Josh will be honored as part of our senior day festivities, but today his pitch performance was one to remember for this season. Great job, right, thank you. Now the other one we're going to talk to today was the heroics of Greg Alexander in game number two on the 5-4 victory. Greg, walk me through that that last at bat in game two. You guys down by a run, runners at second and third, one out. What's going through your head? Man, with second and third and one out, I was just thinking like my man Stenson dropped a nice punt, second and third. My man Story, he was rough, you know, just having a bad game. I just I started to feel it. It's been a bad couple of weeks, and I knew he threw me the right pitch. I was gonna make it hurt. I had a tough at bat, three two. He took it to the took me the distance, and I got me one I could handle. And at the end of the game, I had to do what I had to do. Now you talk about the last few weeks, you've kind of been pressing a little bit. You and I, have, you know, joked about it every once yeah. in a while, but at the same time, you are a guy along with Brand Story and a couple of his line that when the game's on the line, you're like, hey, he's gonna get us a win. Do you like having that like the type of pressure on you and you being one of those guys? With that type of pressure, it's like a love-hate relationship because I love it at the same time, but with the experience comes a lot of you have to get back to the team. They look at it, they look up to me, and I look up to them. Don't just keep each other up. It all starts with preparation, like Coach said, going into the good weeks. Got to come, come out strong with conference and hopefully get the sweep tomorrow. Big win, Greg. Big win. That's Greg Alexander. You heard from Josh Dunn and Coach Rob Henry. Like we said, tomorrow is the third and final game of the three-game series, the last home series of the season before the SIAC tournament next week in Augusta. For Greg, Josh, and Coach Rob Henry, I'm Eric Matthews on the Thoroughbred Sports Network.